Hello everyone, welcome once again to Scorpion Scar Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing the Leaf by Oscar. cigar. I'm going to start off right away. I'm going to rant a little bit. On the company's website, Oscar Cigars, calls this cigar a 6x50 Toro. Also available in um, a Gordo size, a 6x60, and while this has an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper, it's also available in Connecticut, uh, Corojo, and Maduro. Um, also both in Toro and Gordo sizes. But my rant is their website, the company's website says this is a 6x50 cigar. However, on the little stick with the barcode, it says 6x52. But it, that's what it says, 6 by 52. So, I don't, I don't know if this was put on by Oscar Cigars or if it was put on by uh, the shop where this was sold at, and I don't know what shop this was sold at. This cigar was gifted to me by Victor Esposito, a friend of mine. Thank you very much, Victor. Uh, but whether it's the shop's fault or the manufacturer's fault or somebody in between or whatever the deal is, get it right. All right. Now, 50 ring, 52 ring gauge, not that big of a difference. Who cares, right? Okay. So let's get on with the cigar review. Uh, this cigar retails for about eight and a half dollars. It's like eight fifty-five at Neptune. I looked it up. Uh, as I mentioned, this was gifted to me, so I don't know what it cost, but uh, my buddy Victor lives in Florida, and Neptune Cigars is in Florida, so that was what I went with. Kind of an interesting band around this leaf, and, and the other neat thing is what they did was they actually took a tobacco leaf after they made the cigar, and it was all done, ready to go. They packaged it in a tobacco leaf and then put a band around that. And um, this band almost feels like it's claw. The band is holding the leaf onto the cigar. Really, um, pretty neat packaging the way they did this. Now, the only downside to it is. They use too much glue on this band that holds the gun. I can't get the dang thing off, so I'm not going to be able to smoke this cigar. Another pet peeve of mine. Don't over glue your bands, guys. You can't smoke the band. Got to come off eventually. Make it easy to get off. Alright, here we go. And while it's not cloth, it's... I don't know what the heck it is. Maybe it is cloth. I don't know, but it's it's very soft. It almost feels like you took a brown paper grocery bag, fairly heavy duty one, and just crumbled it up and crumbled it up over and over and over and over again until it became very soft. Now, whether that's actually what just happened or not, I don't know. It's irrelevant. two tobacco leaves that it's wrapped in. I found it very interesting. And these tobacco leaves have a little bit of cedar smell, a little bit of barnyard, some hay, definitely. Hints of leather. It's kind of neat. 
and then once again it's the same type of band on the cigar itself which I'm not going to remove just yet for fear of damaging the cigar prior to smoking it but uh, this is the Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper and the binder and uh, long fillers are all Honduran the cigar was made in Honduras I'm going to get this name wrong the guy's name is Oscar Valadares. I don't know if that's pronounced that right or not but uh, good looking cigar very minor veins very small uh, I, I can't see any seams the wrapper is very very supple like a uh, very very fine leather very fine leather unpolished very soft Silky. All right. Just getting ahead of myself there. Some seashore notes on the wrapper. Various like grasses along the seashore. The foot. Subtle hints of, of spices, some generic spices, more grasses. Okay. Now I don't typically use a scissors cutter on my cigars, but I figure it's about time I learned how. Uh, that's one of my gripes about it is it's so loose. It just it just kind of dangles there. I would almost prefer something with a little bit of resistance that I would feel like I had a little more control over because it, I didn't feel like it was just going to flop away from me. But anyway, let's see what we can do here. Yeah, I'm not impressed with that cut. Should have stuck with my uh, Zycar guillotine cutter. But anyway. Too light draw. Or those haze, some spices, some leathers. Okay, very interesting. Let's get toasted. Now, I don't like how high this flame is set on this lighter. However, it, was, it wasn't really working at all. Took it to my tobacconist. See if he could do anything with it. But I couldn't get it to work right. He fiddled with it a little bit and now it seems to be stuck on high. No matter how I adjust the flame with the little thing on the bottom, it's on full blast. So I gotta really be careful. To grab my my die car, my trusty die car that I never have any trouble with. So the flame stays on on its own. It's on full blast, which I don't like. The lighter gets very hot. Wow, good kick of pepper. Wasn't expecting that. I thought it would be a little more mild. Man, very tasty. Big punch of pepper. Did not expect that. Alright, I'm going to continue smoking this. I'll come back somewhere in the first third. See you in a bit.
here we are just about 20 minutes in uh, I picked up right from the beginning after that initial spice from the initial lighting a bit of a, of a nuttiness kind of a nutty quality and then that turned into um, something pretty spicy something along the lines of uh, some type of hot pepper um, especially on the retro hail um, real good I mean I was surprised I, I didn't quite expect that now why I didn't expect that I don't know um, but I, I just didn't uh, so yeah I'm, I'm I'm happy with the way this cigar has started and it's really um, it's starting off very nicely kind of, at this point, I think this, is good. this cigar will probably score fairly high, uh, just based on um, these initial impressions with the uh, first third. Um, now, I am pairing this cigar with a Venezuelan rum called Tampero Anniversario uh, Reserva Exclusiva, what's it called? I put it down, Reserva Exclusiva Añejo Rum, 40% uh, alcohol by volume. My regular reviewers know that I typically review a cigar with a bourbon or a scotch or something like that. Uh, but every once in a while I'll, I'll do a, a rum or a tequila or, or something else. It's actually pairing very nicely. Uh, I went ahead and added just a, a few drops of water to the rum because it's it's thick and rich and um, kind of potent on the alcohol. There's a good alcohol burn to it. Nice sweet smell. I haven't quite trained my my palate and my sinuses to uh, review rum. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. coach them out very nicely. Very good. I'm going to continue smoking this. Uh, and I'll come back somewhere in the second third with the Leaf by Oscar. Here I am about 40 minutes in, in the second third. That nuttiness has kind of moved way to the back. So on the finish, it's very subtle. The, the forefront of the cigar right now is kind of a, um, like a cinnamon disc candy that kind of hot cinnamon disc candy uh, and especially on the retro hail very hot and spicy it's burning perfectly I haven't had to touch it up at all it's well not not a perfect burn it's got a little bit of a wave to it a little bit crooked but not bad I don't think I'll have to do anything with it I might go ahead and see about removing the stand now, what I understand from the website is the band is organic. So with that, I don't know if that means it's okay to smoke through it or not, so I'm just going to remove it. Carefully. I like to try to preserve my bands. I send them off to Donnie. The Yenny, my the Yenny, my brother in Finland, he makes cigar art from them. He puts the labels together nicely and frames it really nice. That's what he does. 
So I'll send those off to him. Very pleasant cigar. It's uh, smoking nicely. It's smooth. Oh, that, that retro hell. Very spicy retro hell. Really enjoying this cigar. Good price point too, at about eight and a half dollars. leaf is starting to uh, crack and split and starting to come apart. I'm going to have to be careful how I handle it from here on out. Wow, it just, it just really took a, a big turn for the worst. It's just really starting to split real bad now. I, mean, I, I, I can see it moving. It's just opening up. But uh, anyway, I'll, uh, I'll just have to be careful how I handle this cigar. And I'll come back in the final third of the Leaf by Oscar. Let's try that again. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So here I am, about 40 minutes in. The nutty character um, that the cigar had early on has moved from the arrival to the finish. It's now in the finish instead of in on the arrival. And the mainstay of the cigar at the moment is this kind of um, like a cinnamon disc candy that hot spicy cinnamon disc um, and especially on a retro hail it's really powerful on a retro hail very hot and spicy the cigar has developed a, a, a crack where, where the uh, the wrapper leaf is starting to come undone splitting when I remove the band um, as I mentioned, I thought I was recording. I was removing the band, and I was saying that uh, I send the bands off to my friend in Finland, Donnie. Bayani, my brother in Finland, um, he makes cigar art with the bands, puts them together and frames them. Uh, really nice. Looks really good. Um, I'm going to have to be really careful how I handle this cigar from here on out because this wrapper leaf is really starting to come undone and it almost looks like the binder might be starting to split too. Very smooth smoking. Uh, it's burning pretty evenly, not perfect, but a little bit of a wave, but I haven't had to touch it up at all, and I don't think I'll have to, other than now that I see it, that the uh, wrapper leaf is splitting pretty badly. Um, there may be some touch-ups involved with that, I don't know. But I'll continue smoking this, and I'll come back in the final third with the Leaf by Oscar. Here I am, just about an hour in, final third. The uh, wrapper leaf splitting and coming apart. Yeah, kind of annoying, but it's not really being a problem. The cigar is smoking just fine. The ash breaks off loose and flaky. Um, there's a couple small chunks in the ashtray with a lot of loose stuff all around it. Now this cigar had been mailed to me, as I had mentioned, gifted to me from my friend Victor Esposito. Uh, so it may have sustained some damage in the mail. 
he does a pretty good job of trying to protect the cigar. He puts it in bubble wrap and and all that uh, in one of those bubble wrap envelopes. Uh, so, you know, did it get damaged during shipping, or is it simply because of removing the band? I, I don't know, but uh, it doesn't seem to be affecting the smoking of the cigar. Real pleasant cigar. Smooth. It has, um, it's got a, a, not really a bite to it, but that, that, that cinnamon disc note, especially on the retro hail, is, is pretty potent. It's the most hot cinnamon candy. Good price point at about eight and a half dollars. I can continue. Ugh, I'll continue smoking this, and I'll come back in the nub with my final thoughts and impressions and a score. At the end of it. the uh, leak by Oscar. Here I am, about an hour and 20 minutes in. Um, the wrapper leaf continues to pull away and split. However, it's not affecting the smoking of the cigar. That nutty, that nutty character that I found early on has returned. It's quite pleasant. Um, and there's still that um, kind of cinnamon disc quality to the cigar, um, pairing nicely with the uh, Pompero rum. The um, spiciness of the cigar and the spiciness and the sweetness of the rum kind of come together and, and make for a uh, like a cinnamon disc uh, candy like experience so it, it's good I, I'm enjoying it and the price point at eight and a half dollars roughly um, really it's uh, pretty good for this uh, for this cigar what did I score this uh, leaf by Oscar after adjustments for the wrapper splitting, which I only took off half a point. Um, my final score was 91 points for this cigar. And at about eight and a half dollars or so, that's really pretty good. I've been smoking this for about an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, and I have a few minutes left on the cigar. I'll keep smoking it. So I'll definitely get an hour and 20 out of it, maybe a little bit more, maybe an hour and a half. What I recommend this cigar to really just about anybody. A novice could appreciate that it's uh, a, a good price point. Anything under nine dollars should not scare off um, a novice. Um, and an aficionado could also appreciate the price point. There's not a lot of flavors. It's kind of it's kind of one-dimensional. Um, I had a little bit of that nuttiness in the beginning and then it came back in the end. But the bulk of the cigar, probably 90% of the cigar, uh, was the um, hot, spicy, cinnamon disc character. And that retro hail was really, really hot and spicy. But it wasn't unbalanced and, and rough and unrefined. Um, it was really quite pleasant. So, uh, I, yeah, I feel this is a, a good value for anybody. Um, the presentation was was a very unique, being wrapped in tobacco leaves, and the bands 
uh, being organic, both the band on the cigar itself and the band on the wrapper oh, label, oh. both were uh, of an organic material. Um, I was a little disappointed that my pre-light experience did not carry through into the smoking of the cigar. I didn't pick up the sea grasses, the uh, seaside grasses, like beach grasses and that kind of thing, or any hay or anything like that while I was smoking the cigar. But I did find that while I was nosing the, the leaf and the foot and even the pre-light draw. But none of that carried over to the smoking of the cigar, which that's not a big deal. It, it didn't surprise me that it didn't do that. Um, most cigars that I smoke, what I get from the cigar before I light it and what I get from the cigar while I'm smoking it are often you know, worlds apart. Nothing wrong with that. Um, it just would have been nice to have picked up some of those haze and grasses and that kind of thing. But I didn't get that while I was smoking the cigar, but not a big deal. Paired very nicely with the Pompero Adversario uh, rum. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with the pairing. I'm very happy with the cigar. And uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend this to just about anybody, really. And I'll probably be looking to uh, pick some more of these up for myself in the near future. So I'll thank you once again for watching Scorpion Cigar Reviews. This has been the Leaf by Oscar. Catch you next time.